Kia ora. Let's look at some organic reaction schemes. So hopefully by now you know all these reactions. Learn them by the type, substitution, addition, elimination, oxidation and acid base. Learn them by starting material. So if I'm going from alkene, how do I change to an alcohol? How do I change an alkene to a haloalkane? How do I change an alkene to a polymer? How do I change an alkene to an alkane? So learn them that way or learn them by product. So if I uh, want to form an alcohol, what are the different ways I can form an alcohol? I can form it from an alkene. I can form it from a haloalkane. So try it in those different ways. So here's an example of a past paper with a reaction scheme. Notice there are boxes, you normally have to perhaps name some compounds, you might have to give some reagents, and you might have to give products, and you might be asked between the major and the minor product. So start with what you know, and in this case you are given the alkene. So the reaction is going to happen at the carbon double bond, not the methyl at the end. That's just going to do nothing. Right, so here's an example of a polymer that you ask for polymerization and notice there are my two carbons and I've drawn two propene molecules linked together to make polypropene. The methyl group is sort of sitting there as a side chain. Notice for polymers you never put in the end carbon atoms to show it's a long continuing chain. Then you look to see what have you got. Look at the re reagents to see if that's any help. So if I'm adding water I'm adding an H and OH. Here, HBr, I'm adding an H and a Br to the carbons of the double bond. So if I do with the water, I'm told it doesn't matter if I do the major or the minor product, so do it whatever one you want, as long as you add the H and the OH to these two carbon atoms. Here, though, you're asked for the major product. And notice I've added the hydrogen to this end carbon because by Makovnikov's rule, the hydrogen uh, adds to the carbon of the double bond that has the most number of hydrogen atoms. And then the, for the minor product, it's the other way around. Now use other things in the scheme, work backwards, sideways, middles, and so on, to see if you've got the right molecules. Notice that my amine at the end is on this first carbon, which means this compound must have the bromine on that first carbon. If you had swapped these around, you would be wrong because I can't go from a bromine on the second carbon to a nitrogen on the first carbon. So just see if it makes sense. I always suggest doing your molecules first and then your reagents. So to go to remove any halogen, you're going to be needing some sort of base to try and drag it off. And so in this case, it's concentrated ammonia because you're adding NH2. And of course, ammonia is basic. And finally, we've missed out reagent one, so we're going to go back, and this is removing water to go to alkene. So think of a dehydrating agent, and that is concentrated sulfuric acid. If you spill concentrated sulfuric acid on your hands, you'll know all about it because your fingers just swell up because all the fluid in your body is rushing there trying to replace the water that's being taken up by the concentrated sulfuric acid. It's such a good dehydrating agent. So here's an, now another example from another exam paper. Start with what you know. You know bromoethane, I hope, and you know chloroethane, I hope. So draw those. It doesn't matter which one you put the carbon on, because there's only uh, uh, where you put the bromine, which carbon, because there's only two. But it's very useful if you're going to put it on the carbon on the right-hand side, keep the Cl also on the carbon on the right-hand side, which means this middle compound which you're told must be an alcohol, so check the whole question that you are following the instructions, must also be on that right-hand side just to keep things um, in order. And now you just do the reagents. So the reagents to go from a bromine to an alcohol, uh, remember what else, uh, of course you have to give the name, ethanol, is um, uh, base, whenever you're removing BR, either to remove it completely or to replace it with something, 
you use some sort of base. So if you're removing it completely, it's a really strong base, so it'll be alcoholic or concentrated. If you are simply replacing it with an OH, then you're going to be using an aqueous version because that's going to help supply the OH to add on to the alcohol. Okay, so that is for that reagent. And again, um, SOCl2, you need to know this one for level three, so I wouldn't bother too much about those. I'd focus only on SOCl2 as a reagent to change from an alcohol to a haloalkane. Okay, and then of course there are other things relating to the scheme. I'm not going to go over those now. Here's another one very similar to the last question. Start with what you know. You're given pentan 2 amine, so start with that with the NH2 on there, which means you've got to have your alcohol on that second carbon unless you are told it's got to go via an alkene or it has to go via, via an alkene but you don't know any reaction that goes from an alkene to an amine only from a haloalkane to an amine so this we know is a haloalkane so we start off with the OH on the second carbon and therefore some sort of haloalkane Cl, Br if, if you want to use that um, make sure it's all on the second carbon and then complete the reagents remember what I said for the OH if you're forming Cl then try and remember this SOCl2 as a reagent because it's a very nice clean uh, way of working it is easy to work up all these others can leave quite a sludge and it's terrible to clean up in the lab and then this one Remember, if I'm removing a chlorine or any halogen, I need some sort of basic thing. And here, because it's NH2, I need conch NH3. Don't just say NH3, conch NH3. Be specific. And finally, here's one where we're starting with an alkene and we're working through, through things. We've got to form a carboxylic acid and we've got to form an amine. Notice, by the way, here they said ammonia alcoholic. So alcoholic or concentrated same thing uh, you could give both so here I'm adding water and OH and H because I've only got two carbons it doesn't matter which one I'm adding it onto so I've just made it on the right hand side because that carbon's got a right hand side but it doesn't really matter okay if you're not sure what this one is because you don't not given a reagent and you're not given this start with what you know you're given an amine there and the only thing you know that makes an amine is a haloalkane so give it a haloalkane and now you go right what would add Cl2 and UV light that's from an alkane so there's my alkane um, notice I've filled in the molecules first and then you can fill in the reagents. So doing the reagents now to go from a alcohol to carboxylic acid is oxidation. Uh, oh, sorry, I've put this one first. Here um, I'm, I'm adding hydrogen, so it's hydrogen with a catalyst like platinum. And here now is any sort of oxidation. MnO4 minus by itself would work. It forms a brown sludge after that. But if you acidify it, it goes from purple to colorless or dichromate. So if you've done your redox in level two, you should know your purple permanganate and your orange dichromate, both good oxidizing agents. So hopefully that helps uh, knowing how to put a reaction scheme together and how to approach a question. And notice they often ask for the types of reactions. So learn it by type. This is an oxidation. This is an addition. An addition. This is a substitution and a substitution. Substitution. So all the best. Kia ora.